Hi everyone, back with me again, Dennis Wang, and welcome to my new workshop. It's not fully finished yet, still work in progress. But in this video today, I want to talk about air ventilation. Now a demonstration of the air ventilation. This is at full power. Check out the marker there. The air are pushing back the door. So the air get in through the gap of the door, circle around and then get sucked out along with the resin film through the ducting hose or inline fan hose. Now let's have a look at the fan. This is what the fan installation looks like. So this is what the fan looks like. It is running at 130 watts. The size is 8 inch or 20 centimeters and the airflow is 900 cmh. Let's turn it on. And there are four important things when installing air ventilation for resin 3D printer. Let's start with number four. An opening to let air flow into the room before getting sucked by the inland fan. And in my case, it's the gap around the door because if I left the door fully open, it is not very effective. And number three, how much air flow do you need from the fan? My local seller here taught me how to calculate how much airflow I need and it's quite easy. Uh, you could measure the length of your room times the width times the height of your room and then you get your volume, your room volume. And then the room volume you times 30. So for example, my room is 4 meters times 3 meters times 3 meters high the result volume is 36 meter cubic and then times 30 the result is uh, 1080 so i need to find a fan that has airflow around 1080 cmh and you could look up on the specification of the fan that you want to buy more or less and as close as possible to the CMH that you need. But as usual, I like to do a lot of testing. So I bought this watt meter. And actually, I also have this airflow meter, but to keep things less complicated and the video duration short, I will put it aside. Now let's run the fan at full power. At 137 Watt, it is around 80 decibel. Now I will turn down the power to half. Now at around 75 Watt, the noise level drop to 70 decibels. This is as loud as Sonic Mini 4K or maybe a dishwasher or your shower. And if my calculation is correct, now the airflow should be around 450 or 500 ish centimeter cubic per hour if I run this at half the power. And I check with my sniff machine, it also works really well to get the resin fumes and vapor out of the room. So I have a new calculation, your room volume times 15. And that should be enough for you to get the resin fumes and vapor out of your room or maybe cabinet. 
and this is at half the power you could check the marker still swaying around from the air through the gap of the door and I could still feel some resistance of air rushing in when I'm trying to close the door now important things number two is get a fan with a dimmer or use electrical plug with dimmer like this so you could adjust the power level and the noise level and now it seems that my fan is kind of overkill but it's better overkill fan uh, sorry i mean it's better has an overkill fan rather than get killed by the resin fumes and maybe in the future if i move to a bigger workshop i could still use the same fan so it's kind of an investment for me and the most important thing number one is like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you want to support my channel directly you could check my patent link in video description but before ending this video i would like to say thank you to my new patron finnewi dana and michelson i really appreciate your support and if you guys are wondering what is the sniff machine she also comes by another name aka the wife see you guys in the next video